this contest is scheduled for three rounds of action at a weight of 120 pounds. The judges for this fight are Calvin Caldwell, Brian Pacillo, and Robert Madrigal. And referee in charge when the bell sounds is Master Winston Matthews. Introducing first fighting out of the Grand Victoria Casino Elgin Blue Corner. She stands in at 5 feet 5 inches tall, tipped the scales officially at 120 pounds. Professional record, two wins against two defeats. Representing Team Illusion and joining us from Salt Lake City, Utah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrea the Killer. Adversary across the gates to my left, fighting out of the meal, fight Gill, red corner. She stands in at 5 feet 5 inches tall, official weight 120 pounds. Professional record, 3 wins against 3 defeats. Representing Team Curran and fighting out of Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a Bellator veteran. We are just about set for this matchup between two dynamic female fighters. Felice Herrick wearing the all red, wearing the black and white is Andrea Miller. Lisa, this one should be highly entertaining. This is going to be an amazing fight. Like I said earlier, Andrea Miller, uh, you know, just accepted this fight just a week and a half ago. And she says she wants to stand and, and, you know, and strike against her. But you know what? I'm not quite sure that's going to be the best bet for her. Andrew Miller took this fight on a little over a week's notice. And Felice and Andrew Miller standing, standing and trading the early going so far. Felice Herrig, as we mentioned, one of only two female fighters to be in a video game. Her and Michelle Gutierrez in Supremacy MMA, the video game. Not Gina Carano, not Cyborg Santos. Felice Herrig is the first of two women to be in a mixed martial arts video game. Supremacy MMA, the video game, hitting store shelves in the month of June. And you know what? Just seeing uh, those spots on uh, Supremacy MMA, you know what? They're amazing. The likeness to uh, Felice is is just terrific. So are you a big you know video game player? Uh, a little bit, and I'm certainly excited. <laughs> to play that one right now though if Felice Herrig it has the back of Andrea Miller you know Felice Herrig's been training under the tutelage of Jeff Curran and with Team Curran Jens Pulver is also there Pat Curran who's fighting for the Bellator lightweight championship in a couple of weeks he is there as well Bart Palaszewski Jeff Curran so that camp again there are a lot of seasoned fighters and Felice Herrig's added to that long list of talented fighters with Team Curran and she's grown a lot since her time in training with Jeff she really has. I mean, let's get for real. You know, she's she really is a, a professional kickboxer, a Muay Thai specialist. She's got her. She just took her down, Andrea Miller down right now. And I know Andrea Miller initially wanted to, you know, stand up with her, but she said if she's going to take me down, I'll do everything I can to get through this fight. Well, certainly right now it is Andrea Miller who needs to go ahead and find a way to get Felice Herrig off of her. Felice Herrig in side control. Now, Felice Herrick started off, as, as you were talking about, as a kickboxer, Lisa, and she comes from a, a, striking, a striking background, yes. and now she has mount, but she is really growing and focusing on her ground game and battling her, battling, you know, getting better at wrestling and also improving her jiu-jitsu, and it's playing a factor tonight. I mean, she's actually been leave, living at uh, Team Curran's gym for the past uh, six weeks now. She said, I, I don't go home. This is all I do. Um, you know, I eat and breathe MMA. And she's like, I really needed to work on my jiu-jitsu. I really needed to work on my ground game. And, um, you know, she's showing us right now she's doing an excellent job. Well, she has her hips. She's in full mount of Andrea Miller. And she's really looking outstanding. And talking with Felice in weeks prior to the fight, she's really looking forward to this fight. She lost to Barb Honchak in the month of January. So she's looking to redeem herself after that. And that was a highly contested split decision loss. 
to Barbara Hanschek. Some thought that Felice Herrick pulled out the win, but it didn't go in her favor, so she's anxious to prove that that was a small bump in the road, and right now she is opening up, and a nice job of teeing off and unloading and blasting away with some elbows on the side of the head of Andrea, Andrea Miller. Andrea Miller has absolutely no way to defend this at this point. Beautiful elbows and shots being delivered by the little bulldog here tonight before a capacity crowd at the Odium at Villa Park. Andrea Miller still has done, is not doing anything really, barely holding on. I give credit to Joel Smith, the matchmaker here, to find Felice in a party because a lot of fighters didn't want to take on Felice Herrig. And you can't blame them. I mean, you know, the fact is Andrea Miller got into MMA initially back in 2006 when she was going through a divorce and she said this was the best way to take out her frustration. Went through it in two months and said, you know what, now I want to compete. Master Winston Matthews is on top of the action. He is moments away from stopping this fight. Call this. Felice Herrig looks impressive. Devastated elbows. And this one is over. Felice the Little Bulldog Herrig finishes Andrea Miller by technical knockout and what a win for the Little Bulldog. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Winston Matthews puts a stop to this contest at 3 minutes 30 seconds of round 1 for your winner by way of technical knockout due to strikes, Felice Little Bulldog! <laughs> Felice, congratulations on the win. A highly contested affair. You came out looked impressive. Dominated Andrea Miller. Uh, actually, first, I just really want to thank Andrea Miller. Um, I last minute, like 12 days out before my fight, the girl that I was scheduled to fight backed out, and I was, you know, my coaches, my team, my manager were all struggling to find an opponent, and Andrea Miller stepped up, and I just. I really thank you for giving me the opportunity to fight. You look very impressive. Your ground game has tr improved dramatically. Took your opponent down, then you monitored her and finished her. Yeah, I actually, you know, I made the move over to Team Curran, you know, about eight months ago and just been working out my weaknesses and I, I thank them for everything. Um, you know, I, I just want to thank my team. I want to thank, you know, my manager, Sucker Punch Entertainment. I mean, I, I don't feel like I would evolve as a fighter if I wasn't with them. So I just want to thank them, you know, for opening up the doors to me, making me feel like, you know, like a family. What's next for you, Felice? What's next? Um, well, right now, I'm, I'm off promoting Supremacy MMA, um, the video game. I'm going to be off to England, you know, this next month. I'm fighting again May 7th and XFO, so just want to stay busy, you know, do my thing. I'm not going to Hollywood, so... <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on the win, Felice. Looked impressive and also we look forward to seeing you fight in the very near future. And we'll check you out to post you in the video game. I just thank you, thank you everybody for coming out. I mean, I saw a bunch of faces in the crowd. People that didn't even know we're going to be here. And it just, it means a lot to me to have everybody support. So thank you guys. Felice Little Bulldog, Herrick Victoria is here tonight at Chicago Cage Fighting Championship.